You are a Democrat, yes. an overwhelmingly Republican Senate. Uh, have you found that despite being in the minority party, that you are able to work with your Republican colleagues on issues of interest to you? You know, every district, whether it's Republican or Democrat, uh, we still have children who need good education. Uh, we still have the elderly uh, who need good health care and proper transportation. Um, and we still have young people coming out of our fine universities who can't find jobs in Florida. So we have a lot of common interests across the board, whether you're Republican, Tea Party, uh, Democrat, or, or very, very progressive. We all have the same issues. We just have different ways to achieve them. But if we find our commonality, then we can really go forward and be stronger instead of being a red state or a blue state to be one state of Florida going forward to the best of all, betterment of all of our people. What you're saying is in a way, despite party or whatever, we're all in the same boat. We all face the same crisis and we've got to come out of, you, you know, as, as a member, you've got to come out of this session with uh, some tough uh, answers to some tough problems and it's got to be together or it won't work. You know, someone once said in one of my committees, uh, with scarcity comes clarity. Uh, we've been growing exponentially as, a, as an economy, and that makes government get fat. We need to tighten up government first. Okay? You know, we try to cut from many of the working uh, people in our state. But let's not forget, it wasn't the working people who made the economy drop. It was Wall Street. It was the banks. It was a whole foreclosure debacle and, and the whole situation with giving mortgages to those who really uh, wouldn't be able to maintain them. Uh, so I think we need to keep our focus straight that, um, that we need, when we talk about cuts to pensions, we talk about cuts uh, to teachers and to education, we need to know that this has to be across the board uh, and that when you try to make these serious cuts on working people, what happens is the working people are not the ones who cause the, the economic crisis to begin with. Uh, so we need to keep them strong. Uh, we need to keep our kids educated. Uh, and we need to, to, to keep our infrastructure uh, modern and, and work on areas where we can go forward as a state looking at alternative sources of revenue.